Hey guys, I'm RJ Ambricks, and today I'm really excited to show you my latest mock, which is a Viking Chieftain's Hut. I really don't know where the inspiration to build this one came from, but I really like how it turned out. It is a LEGO Ideas project, so there's a link in the description. Make sure you go support it so this one can also have a chance of becoming a real set. But without further ado, let's get on with the mock. Like I said earlier, I don't really know where the inspiration to build this one came from, but I think it was just that I wanted to try out some new techniques, and I'm really glad I did because it looks really cool, I think. And the mainly for those techniques is the walls of the hut and the ground around it. For the ground, I just put lots of random plates and tiles and all these angly tiles, and it just has a really cool aesthetic and looks more natural and kind of a conglomeration of a lot of random parts. There's also a lot of colors. There's like, I don't even know the color names, but there's multiple dark sand green type things and different browns that give it a totally natural look. Then I also added some sprouts and a bunch of those new leaf pieces. And then for the walls, instead of using the normal just bricks on bricks, I used a conglomeration of like cheese wedges, jumper plates, more cheese wedges, more jumper plates, some different colored greens to make it look natural. -er. And then I also use like slope pieces and even those one by one like domey pieces. Anyways, it's just a lot of random parts that totally make it look more natural. I've seen this technique used many, many times, but I've never actually tried it. I'm really glad I did because it really fits the look and the mood of this build. And of course, the thatched roof. I'm really happy with. I like how I added those leaf pieces. Really, I just wanted a natural, more... I don't actually have any Lego Viking minifigures, but I made my own using lots of different parts. There's some Ninjago minifigure parts. Actually, the two torsos on two of the Vikings are from Ninjago, one Ninjago set. The pants are from the same one. And then I also used some pieces from the is it like a ghost knight minifigure series? The chief viking has the torso of that one, and the fisherman viking has the pants of that one. And then, ironically, I actually used Hagrid's body for the big burly viking because I needed one that just looked like the, the muscly one. On the side of the hut, I also added a pond, and really, a lot of this build was inspired by trying out new things, so I really wanted to use this piece I had and it's this big gray one. I think it's in some Star Wars set. I really don't know because I don't pay attention to Star Wars at all. But it's a cool piece and it worked out really well for the rock. And there's a pond with a little stream flowing into it. And this is where they can catch their fish or whatever. There's lots of reeds and plants growing around it. And again, the natural look for this is really what I was going for. So I'm really happy with that turned out. Another thing that really was just oh wait, I could do that and it might look cool, was adding the horns on the top of that top beam. And I'm really, really, really glad I put those there because without it, I think there was just something missing. At first I put a lantern hanging off that beam, but then it kind of blocked the logo or the emblem of these Vikings. So there was just too busy right there. But using these one by one plates or yeah, plates with the bar sticking out, I was able to connect these horns, and I'm really pleased with that. Both sides of this hut actually open up, but the left side is more accessible because there's some plants in the way of the other one that you'd have to take to open it up, so I just made it so that this, this side can open up more easily. On the inside, there's a big fireplace using those cool um, 90 degree curves, and there's a roast boar roasting on it. There's also, I put the lantern on the inside because it needed something up top. There's also his, the chief's throne or chair or whatever you'd call it, a table and three shields hanging on the wall. At the back, there are some tall sprouts in that lime green color. And also again, using those one by one round plates with the bar sticking off, I was able to add some pretty cool angles for those leaf pieces on the back wall. The chimney climbs all the way up the back of this hut, and you can also see an outline for the fireplace. I don't know what to call it because it's not like the framework, but I just liked adding that outline there. It made it have an extra detail. It looked kind of bland without it. So 
yeah, I'm really happy with how all of this turned out, and I hope you are too. I hope you guys enjoy this mock. Make sure you go support it on LEGO Ideas. And so I also included a lantern on this wooden branch because I don't think they have wrought iron poles. <laughs> That's what I was going to put, but yeah, that was too industrial, so I made it like a branch or a log that they cut down. And then there's also a treasure chest, obviously, because they pillage villages, and so it has some treasure, some coins, and an axe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mock as, as much as I did building it. I'm really happy I tried these new techniques. I even tried putting a dark, muddy green canoe for the roof piece at the top, but it just didn't work out. But I tried all these tool techniques. It was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.